Hello everybody, welcome back to the 3D Critic channel. I'm David, your host, and today I'm going to be giving you guys my performance review on the Wade Shadow 5s. And when it came to the initial try-on, it was a little difficult for me at first because the insole has a gritty texture to it, and I found it a little difficult to put my foot inside the shoe. But once you do, when it comes to the uh, overall fit, I ordered a, a size up for my original size because I didn't they didn't have it available in my size. And when it came to the fit in respect to that, it wasn't that bad overall. When it came to the width, it was just right once I had my foot like hunkered down in the forefoot. And uh, once you uh, bring it back, it does reveal uh, the inconsistencies when you uh, go up a full size. And when it came to the width, there was a little bit of wiggle room, but not that much uh, in my opinion. And when it came to the uh, length there was a good bit of dead space in the toe box as well so if you want a true one-to-one -one fit i would personally go up half a size and for narrow footers go true to size and for wide footers uh since there is a good bit of wiggle room um in the shoe itself i would uh go up a full size as well so if you guys are interested in uh, buying yourself a pair of these they are available for 119 dollars on way of wade's website i will leave a link in the description box for that and i'll also throw in a 15 dollar coupon from way of wade themselves if you guys want to save 15 dollars off of your order so all of that will be listed in the description box below now moving into the traction the overall grid pattern that you get on this rubber outsole is really good on a clean court with the lateral movements, you get a really good bite on the floor and you're uh, really good when it came to side to side movements. You get good separation when you are trying to get open and on defense, it was actually uh, good as well. It gave me a nice response on the floor. The vertical movements were nice as well. The hard stops were actually nice and stopped on a dime for me. And you get a quick first step as well. That way you uh, react quickly uh, and get a good bite off of the uh, floor itself. However, on dust, it is not that great in my opinion. I found it to um, slide uh, once it collects a good bit of dust. But on the uh, upside, it is um, not sticking to the outsole itself and I found it to be e really easy to wipe off. So just be mindful when you start sliding, you just have to wipe it down and you're gonna be good to go in that front. And when it came to the durability, it is holding up pretty well. Didn't experience any signs of wear uh, from the entire outsole. So it is a really good shoe to play in outdoors as well. So the overall traction setup for me was pretty good overall in my opinion. Now when it came to the cushion, the overall package felt really comfortable under my foot. The boom insole that you get it has really nice step in comfort overall and you're also going to get a cloud plus midsole that has a really nice responsive feel in the forefoot and has a nice launch with two shanks that you're going to get that is on the top and bottom of the midsole that you can see right here and it gives you a nice springboard like feel that way you have a really explosive first step and it has a nice launch in that respect and in the heel it has pretty decent compression overall which gives you nice impact protection and on heel strikes they were actually pretty good from what i have experienced and the overall fluidity of the shoe from heel to toe is nice due to the uh, corked uh, midsole that you get in the midfoot making the transitions feel seamless and quick when you're going up and down the court so it was a nice shoe to run up and down the court in that respect and i found the overall uh cushion itself to be nice and responsive and comfortable in the heel as well so overall for what you get it is not a bad cushioning setup now getting into the materials they are pretty minimalistic in my opinion you're basically going to get a really thin textile material that is really woven together with these fuse overlays which moved with my foot pretty well uh, and it had like really good flexibility in the forefoot and I didn't experience any pinching. The tongue is thinly padded. However, it is a one piece tongue with this sock liner all around the uh, shoe. And when you get to the back, you have a uh, thickly padded Achilles pillow, which felt really nice in the back of my foot. And surprisingly, I didn't uh, experience any pinching in the midfoot considering, considering that it is a thinly padded 
a tongue. So it was overall pretty nice and it was borderline comfortable in my opinion. The one thing I didn't like was the unnecessary plastic extension that you have here that acts as a pull tab. And while I was uh, pulling my shoe, uh, pulling my foot inside the shoe, it uh, ripped uh, apart and it's now like loose overall. But outside of that, I do like the aesthetic of the uh, Galaxy um, look that it has overall. And the materials for me just borderline get the job done. When it comes to lockdown, for me, it was really solid overall. Starting off with the boom uh, insole that you get, it has this gritty texture. And as a result, it sticks to your sock and makes sure that you don't move in the footbed. And when you get to the uh, midfoot, the materials, you are getting straps in the middle of the lace line that keeps the midfoot in place. That way you won't move in the midfoot. And the Achilles pillow in the heel gives a really nice padded feel and it is sculpted that way the heel is like hunkered down inside the shoe and as a result i didn't experience any heel slippage when i was playing in this so the lockdown for me was pretty good overall and lastly when it came to the support it felt really stable overall the stability of the shoe is abundant with the two shanks that you get on the top and bottom of the uh, midsole it gives it a nice stable uh, platform inside the shoe and you get a nice flat base from the outsole itself to add on to that extra stability that you're going to get for lateral support you are getting it from the sloped midsole and in the midfoot you're going to get this tpu panel with the sidewalls from the boom insole that you're going to get as well that way you won't uh, have any uh, lateral sliding overall inside the shoe and when it came to a side to side movement in the heel you get a nice thick tpu heel counter that keeps the heel nice and contained inside the shoe so the overall support for me was overall pretty nice the lack of an outrigger was uh, a little bit in question but the uh, midsole itself was sloped enough that way you have a uh, nice lateral uh, support over all so i like the support in my opinion in the shadow fives now to wrap things up i think the shadow fives are a pretty decent shoe uh overall the traction was really nice on a clean court laterally and vertically the cushion i like the launch that you get from this shoe it had a really nice pop off of the floor the heel cushioning was okay uh, for my liking. It had a really nice uh, impact protection when it came to heel strikes. The materials were a uh, downside to this shoe. It looks nice aesthetically, but the overall material build that you get is pretty cheap overall. And I didn't like the pull tab that you uh, get in the back and it popped off when I was using it. So that is a downside to this shoe. But on top of that, the lockdown and support were pretty solid overall. And I really liked how stable I was under the foot, considering that it does look a little narrow from a side profile. So yeah, it's a pretty nice shoe for the price that you're getting for it. And I really like playing in it overall. And this is my performance review on the Wade Shadow 5s. Thank you guys for watching this video. Leave a like if you enjoyed it. Comment down below on what you think of the Wade Shadow Fives, any experiences that you have had with them. Feel free to comment down below, as well as any other questions that you might have for me. If you like to stay up to date with future videos that I'll be posting, hit the subscribe button down below, and it'll greatly support the channel as well. If you'd like to stay in touch with me via social media, I will leave all that information in the description box below. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the day. I hope this was beneficial to you guys. And until next time, keep shooting.